Hello, Slicey Dicers. How's everybody going? Welcome to Bruising Blades for March 22nd of 2020. Let's uh, refresh my page here so I can see your chats and all that stuff. There we go. That came right up. That's always a good sign. Make sure I'm muted and I am. There we are. Hey, Lazzy. Hello, Chris, Jock, Connor, KI, Chad. How's it going, man? Uh, Keith. How's it going, everybody? He started without us. <clears throat> um, a few of you on here already. So uh, welcome, welcome aboard. Uh, hey, Jonathan, not drinking anything fancy tonight. Just the uh, the old Stella. It is Bruising Blades, so I have to say that. Just having a Stella tonight. We bought a lot of Stella the last time that one of us was out. Hey, Red Dog. Hey, Ethan. BD. Welcome aboard. There is no live auction tonight, so this is just going to be the, the usual Bruising Blades. Um, and uh, no, Jeremy, I didn't put it in the mail because I, I was on my way there. And then I thought, I don't want that sitting in the mailbox all weekend. So it's going on on Monday. I'll send you the tracking. Um, I didn't I didn't want it just sitting in a mailbox all Monday or all, all weekend. So uh, I'll drop it off Monday morning. They're still open and all that stuff. So uh, everything will be fine. Uh, a little bit. Stella. Yes, exactly. Um, got everything all splayed out here. So uh, in front of you, just a few. Just grabbed a few. Um, what's coming up on the channel tomorrow morning? I'm going to have the review of this. This is the Wii Knives MRF, big old slip joint. Uh, I had this out on Friday. You guys asked to see it a lot more. Really cool knife. Uh, thanks to Southern Edge Knife Works. Use the code SDSEK at S, 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 SD. I have to make sure I get this right. S, yeah, SDSEK at checkout. I was right the first time. <laughs> so SDSEK at checkout, 50% off and free shipping in the continental United States. There we go. I should have that burned into my brain by now. It's been a long day. BD says that we looks the best on the table. It is pretty darn fancy, I will say. Uh, last night, I did a little disassembly and slight mod video of this ZT0393 that I just got. I will say uh, I did make another change. I realized when I put a hinderer clip on it, oh, I have a hinderer filler tab as well. So I grabbed that and put on there after I was done. And it may, may... It is uh, getting uh, custom scales from Sharp Dress Knives. So I'm going to keep dressing it up. And who knows? Do I need it? Probably not. Maybe I'm reaching a milestone where I might want to give some stuff away. Maybe it'll be a giveaway knife. Who knows? Big tease, but uh, possibility it's going to be a giveaway knife. So I'm going to be nice to it up, up until then, until I decide which way or the other. Maybe I'll fall in love with it and want to keep it. I like my old one. I may like this one even more. We will see. But uh, it could be, could be a 15,000 sub giveaway knife. So um, we shall see. If it's not, that means I got something even better. So uh, we'll see. And this is what I was carrying today. Hinder XM18 with the Warhog scale uh, and the bronze stuff on it. Uh, I'm not, wasn't, wasn't leaving the house. I did wind up leaving the house once, but uh figured I wasn't leaving the house, so uh, why not? I don't carry this often. It's not exactly a safe queen, but it is one that I do kind of take care of. It's a very valuable gift I was given, and I really do like it a lot, and I don't want to damage it, and it means a lot to me. So I don't carry it a whole lot, but today I did, and I really liked it. It did get it did get used a smidge uh, today, but nothing real super, super over the top. Um... Do you think that scale fit on the Hender XM Slippy Slicer? I don't think it fits the Slippies. I'm not sure about that, though. You'll have to uh, you'll have to see. Good luck damaging that Hender, Christian says. You're right, but I don't want to scratch the scale. Uh, but it actually probably wouldn't look bad scratched up. It'd probably still look fine. But uh, this is one that's going to get passed down to my son at some point. So uh, I, I try to be careful with it. But um, not super careful. Like I said, I do still carry it sometimes. It often um, goes in the during the wintertime in the uh, left front chest pocket on my jacket because uh, it just sits in there. I have a big knife if I need it. So it does get used some, but not a ton for sure. Hey, John, Andrew, Randy, sorry to anybody else that I missed. Another Chad, two Chads. We've reached maximum Chad. No one else named Chad is allowed in here. Uh Two weeks before I can get my hinder, been looking in the secondary market, but I can't find one EDC life says. Uh, what's the ZT? It's the 0393 uh, GLCF. To think of it. 
this is the Chad, this is the Chad Club, not the Chad's Club. Yes, exactly, Libby. <laughs> and then what else do we have here? We got Cold Steel Airlight I brought out because I still really love this thing. It's still pretty great. Somebody made a comment that kind of annoyed me. And they said, oh, so it's just a pro light with G10 scales and us 10A steel. Like that was a bad thing. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Why is that a bad thing? Um, maybe I was reading too much into the tone. Apologize to you if you weren't being snarky, but it sounded being snarky. And uh, But I'm also very sensitive now because I've been locked in my house for a whole lot. The Wee Knives Asticus that we do not make jokes about, the name. And the uh, Benchmade Presidio 2 CF Elite. I was just editing my uh, my video on uh, on this today, so I've, I've typed Presidio 2 CF Elite a lot today. Same steel as the 4MAX Scout, right? Yes, it is, that uh, OS 10A. Thank you, Carlos, very much for the donation. By the way, uh, if I didn't say this off the bat, all donations tonight, this is the last night we're doing this, but all of the Super Chats go to Foodlink New York, however much you guys donate. We did hit our goal. I added it all up. You guys raised $1,025 for Foodlink New York, so... Very, very, very happy with that. I already sent them some of their money. I'll send the rest whenever I get the uh, whenever I get uh, my payment from uh, Google. They'll get some more money, and it goes to kids that you know can't get out. Look, like it's food bank. It goes to anybody, but it's, they're doing a lot for kids that can't get out, can't get to school, can't get their free lunches. So, uh, if you want to donate to your own, I highly recommend you do that. Go to feedingamerica.org. Donate to your local food bank. Send me a receipt showing me that you donated at least like five bucks and I'm going to send you a sticker. So please do that. It's very, very important we help each other out in these uh, these rough, rough times. Evening, can you say Asticus five times fast, fifth arch? Ast uh, Asticus, 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 Asticus. I can. Uh, BD Swain says, my, bid, my binge TV for today was old Top Gear specials. Patagonia. Yeah, old Top Gear specials are always fun to watch. Old Top Gear, period. I'm sure I've watched every single one in the Grand Tour and all that. I've even watched some of the um, some of the newer ones with the new people. So they're not bad. It's not the same, but it's all right. I still prefer uh, Clarkson, May, and Hammond uh, when I can get that combo in any way. I actually watch a lot of uh, May on the Food Tribe they have now on uh, on the YouTubes because they have that Drive Tribe thing. You can go to Food Tribe, and it's just uh, James May making old-timey food like he does a series called Sandwiches of the 70s, and it's really funny. Uh, thank you, Libby, very, very much. And thank you, Avisness. <clears throat> thank you very much. I very much appreciate those donations. So uh, Chris Harris is a great addition to Top Gear. Jack says, yes, Chris Harris is the man. That dude can wheel. There is uh, no doubt about that. That little guy can definitely drive a car. And he's very funny. Knows a lot. My uh, my wife loves him. So, um to a point that kind of uh, disturbs me a little bit, but I don't think we'll ever meet, so I think it'll be okay. Uh, Libby says, I may be drunk already. Well, good for you. I should hydrate, by the way, speaking of that. Uh, um, Jason says, the Japanese pagoda was thrown off the cliff because it wasn't allowed back on the roads. I don't remember that one. My Southern Edge Knife Works koozie, as I should. Hey, Ocon, how's it going, man? You made it before the last five minutes this time. Good on you. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate it. I like food. Look at my posts. Yeah, I, I was just guess going to say, Keith, today I meant to reply to one of your Instagram posts. I can always tell if it's a picture of breakfast, it's you. You're the only one who takes pictures of, like, amazing breakfasts. Like, that's half of your... Uh, Half of your Instagram feed. Go follow Keith on Instagram if you don't. Follow me too. Oh, by the way, there is a giveaway on my Instagram right now. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, you know, go do that. Uh, because I am giving away a knife on there right now because I just hit 6,000 followers on Instagram, which is pretty cool. Went from five to six really quick. That was awesome. But I'm giving away this uh, custom dyed Slicey Dicey Purple Honey Badger. All you got to do is follow the channel and reply with a comment and tag somebody. And uh, I'm going to do a random drawing on Tuesday. And you can see it on my Instas. Or the Grams, as the kids say. Is it the Instas or the Grams? I don't know which one I'm supposed to say. But uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, Blade, Blade Brigade New York says, any New York charity you say? Well then. Yeah, um, Food Link New York does give to all over the state. The Gram, is that what I'm supposed to say? I don't even know. 
Uh, Fifth Arch says, some say all he needs is an ascus to be happy. All we know is he's called Slice today. See, very good. You made two references into one thing. Awesome. Uh, are we allowed the word ass? Well, I just said it, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> I saw there was a held comment back there. I didn't, I didn't read it. I've kind of given up on reading held comments when, when, uh, Facebook holds them then. Or Facebook, what are we on? YouTube. What, what is this? Where am I? What day is it? Who am I? What's my name? Uh, when YouTube holds a comment, sometimes I just don't even bother uh, re reading it. Yeah, the Stig references are, uh, are always a lot of fun. There's a super cut of those on uh, Instagram. It's just every single one. And it's, they're, they're really funny. It's really good. Uh, Stasa has confirmed the Tumblr is awesome. Buying it tonight, Libby says. It is awesome. Uh, I'm going to be bringing some more knives out, but you are going to hear a mass ripping of Velcro because I did actually put most of my knives back in their Spidey pack today like a moron, not remembering that, hey, idiot, you have a live stream tonight. You're going to want to bring some knives out. So my Spidey packs are all within arm's reach of me, but I'm going to have to open up and get some more stuff out. So, uh, What's your favorite blade price not considered uh sean i i, I it'll ask me tomorrow it'll change every single day um i really like the shamwari it's pretty darn nice that's what i usually say uh me with knives is that the presidio yes i have done a review of it i just had it out today again because i'm finishing up well i was editing the um review for knives illustrated and i had to do some measurements on it so uh uh Hey, Everyday City Care, how's it going, man? Your boy Ray's in the house. Your boy Ray from the NYC. Hope you're staying safe, safe down there. Another New Yorker locked away like I am. ADC Life has even been to Lake George. I have not. Thank you very much, Everyday City Care. That's awesome. Thanks, Ray. I appreciate it. And I did get out today, went to the vape shop. I realized I thought I had two bottles of my nicotine and I only had one and I went there and but they were being very very cautious it was very cool um they had like a folding table set up so you could you couldn't get close to the counter and they were spraying everything down like between customers I was the only customer in there though but uh they sprayed everything down before I handed my card and sprayed everything down afterwards wearing gloves and everything it was cool um but I, and I bought enough to I'm good for a couple weeks so I just kind of cleaned them out I'm very very particular about one kind of vape juice that I like because it's the plainest stuff in the world. It doesn't taste like anything. I just want my nicotine. I want to blow, gi blow giant clouds. I don't want to, I don't want to have it taste like mango, strawberry, whatever. And, uh, so I just get the plainest crap I can get. So, uh, yes, Libby, it's Brian Speck vape juice. It's tsunami tobacco is what I get in six or 12 milligrams. Today I got it in both because I don't, who knows, on bad days, I like the 12. Normal days, it's the 6. So, uh, <clears throat> Lion Knife says, how do you like the MRF? I love it. Spoiler alert for the review tomorrow. It's going to be extremely positive. This is one of my favorite knives I've gotten in a long time. It's just a slip joint, but it's a stiffen. And no nail nick or anything. There's plenty of room to pinch it open. A um, couple minor little flaws with it, but uh, it's overall... <clears throat> Pretty fantastic. And just freaking look at it. Just look at it. I ordered a Viator today and expect to get a nerd next month. Joseph says, um, you know, the, the Viator, this kind of in, <clears throat> it's in no way shaped like it or anything. But the extremely stiff uh, slip joint reminds me a lot of the Viator. Especially in that this does have a half stop. Um, but uh, I ain't gonna risk it. <laughs> I'm not gonna one hand close this thing. Um... It is, it's a very, very, very stiff spring, which is great when you're actually using it, but closing it, I don't trust not to blow past that half stop and cut my finger. So, um, I'm not using it, but I, I do not want them to change it. I'm not saying that I would wish it was a little lighter. Uh, no, I like it like this. It's a, a very robust knife. No problem at all. It's a three and a half. I don't know exactly on the cutting edges, but it's a three and a half inches long and it's using pretty much every dang bit of it so uh it's pretty big especially for a slippy it's pretty big but it is in my hand two hand open in my opinion two hand open two hand close or in my hand because my hand doesn't don't want to get cut so i'm not doing that it's a beautiful freaking knife though 
just, I, they could have chosen a different blade finish. They're, this Polish B-Blast they use, I actually kind of like it on most knives, but on this knife you have to pinch it, and as you can see, it's a fingerprint magnet. I actually cleaned it off right before this, and it's already got... Um, locking model would be good too. Yes, it would. Uh, this guy, uh, Marcus Reichert, usually only just does fixed blades. I think this is the first, the first, um, the first one that uh, he did in the folder. I'm pretty sure. So, oh, kind of says, what did I carry? Did I said it right up front? But it, yeah, this uh, my Hinder X eighteen because mostly inside all day. So I did run out once, but you know, uh, if I'm gonna be inside. I might as well carry the the fancy ones. Uh, do you, I said, do you have any knives you don't let newbies touch? Oh, lots of them. Uh, <laughs> there's definitely lots of them that I don't want somebody to get cut on. This would be one I probably would not hand a newbie. Um, because it's just, it's such a stiff back spring, even though it's just a slip joint. Um, a lot of them. Large and cosy or Zahn and cosy. I don't like all the milling and stuff on the um num Zahn. I'm getting spinnies. All right, it went away. Uh, shall I pull the trigger on the 0562 tie since ZTs are in sale and I really consider a couple more beers on my app and do it 18 twas the, the 0562 tie is an amazing knife and it's never going to be cheaper and they're going to raise the prices back up April 1st they said so uh, I would do that what blade steel on the slow I don't know what you mean by the slow um Cold Steel Large Voyager today is such an awesome big knife dealer here. It says, yeah, that's funny because I've been carrying my 4 Max a lot too <laughs> when I'm stuck around the house. It's so funny. Like, I'm stuck around the house so I don't have to go outside so nobody's going to see it. So we all carry our big, ridiculous knives around the house and barely use them because <laughs> we're not allowed outside. But yeah, my 4 Max has gotten a lot of pocket time uh, this last week for sure. Um, EDC Life says, is there anything I should know about Hinderers before I get one? Uh, just that they're awesome. Uh, they're, they're great. I, I, I prefer the Jurassic to the XM18. That's my favorite. If I was telling somebody to get their very first tender, I would get a Jurassic. It doesn't have all the customization though. So if you're really looking forward to customizing it, then get an XM18 or a half track, but depending on which size you want. But, uh, um, the Jurassic I like better for carrying. The Jurassic is like my user hinderer, but, uh, there's not as much stuff to, to modify for it. Um, Sharp to dress knives. We'll be making scales for them, though, soon. So, uh, Akuchi or Boost Blade Smoke. Uh, I have both. I have a Mini Smoke and the Akuchi. I would say I use the Akuchi more. I actually like the action and, like, using the smoke better, but I use those two knives in kind of very gentlemanly sort of thing. And um, uh, the Akuchi, which I actually have out right here because I still have all my Spydercos out because I did not uh, refill that package yet. Uh, it just has that wire clip it's a much more discreet knife so um freedom fans says have you tried any aftermarket scales for the bug out yeah i did one video i got one set of them i don't remember the name of the company now i feel very badly because he's a really cool dude um Rand randall's something um i had those um they were cool it was nice to have the aluminum ones on it it was better uh but um i don't have any more new ones i might I might be doing that because my son has my regular bug out now and I just gave him something else today so he might be giving me the bug out back and if he gives it back I'll, mo I'll modify that one. Uh, the K2 is on my Spyderco Grail. Somebody else was going on and on about those the other day. Um, thoughts on the 3 inch Hinder X-18 Travis? It didn't fit my hand very well. I'm not, I like the half track better. I had a 3-inch uh, XM18, and I just didn't wind up keeping it. Uh, Flytanium makes nice scales for the bug out. Taz says, yeah, a lot, a lot of people do. There are a whole ton of them. Vape tricks? No. I just want my nicotine. I didn't even... Uh, Grady yes. No, I don't like big clouds or anything. Very boring vape that doesn't blow big clouds. Me with knives says, Slice Dicey. May I suggest the Flytanium carbon fiber scales? I think I'd try Road, Rogue Works first, because that seems like everybody seems to like those a lot. Well, Count says it was probably me. I've been yakking about the K2 lately. It makes me smile. Might have been you. What's your setup for vape? Uh, today I've got the uh, Lost Vape DNA. That's mostly what I use. I have a Smock Nord and an Aspire AVP also. But um, Death Grip scales are for good things about Chad. I've heard those are pretty awesome. 
I was surprised your 3D, your 303 was light on the detent. Mine was really on the stiff side. Ashcan says, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I was expecting it to be stiff too, because if I remember correctly, my 0562 tie was kind of stiff. It broke in, I didn't wind up adjusting it, but if I remember correctly, it was stiff. And I think I had the Stonewash S35 version of this, which looks very similar, but it was a lot different. And uh, I remember that being stiff, but yeah, this one was pretty light. Um... Do you have have you ever vaped a mech mod? Yeah, I used to until all these pod systems came out. Now I like the pods better. Hey, Danny, how's it going, man? Um, somebody else asked something that I was going to respond to, and now it's lost. I apologize to whoever it was. You didn't know. You don't know that you got ignored, but I was not trying to. Uh, what's next on your buy list? I don't know because of the the uh economy i'm going i'm going to say I, I i think this is the first time i've ever said this um i'm probably not going to be doing two videos a day like i have been for for a, a while but i'm going to do two videos a day occasionally i'm going to try and do it at least like half the time and then you know one video a day on other days and uh, i'm gonna run out of knives so i don't usually ask for this but uh because usually I'm just so backed up on reviews, but and I'm going to still be for this week. But after that, um, I am going to need some stuff to review. So if anybody's got anything new, especially uh, that you want to loan me or even donate, whatever, um, I'm not asking you to, but that's always fun. Or just something interesting, do shoot me an email um, and I'll... Uh, I'll I'll have a think about it. So um yeah, Ocon says I can send you a SOG Terminus XR and D2. Uh I'm putting a SOG Terminus XR S35 video up uh Tuesday. Uh but I do want to get the D2 one eventually. So uh, shoot me an email on that one. Ace Nimbus. Yeah, and oh by the way, preferably, preferably uh not modified, because I want to review them. So not with a custom edge, that kind of stuff. A lot of the custom edge stuff. I just it's really hard to uh to do um, reviews on stuff that doesn't have the stock edge on it. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to... Uh, uh, did I do the S35 VM Libby? I don't think I did. I, I had the regular one in my top 10, but I don't remember doing doing a review of it. I'll go back and look. I haven't recorded it yet, so we will see. Um, John H. emailed you last week. If I didn't reply, I didn't see it been getting a lot of emails but um i'm down for donos for review personal review personal review mm, it sounds saucy i bent the ramp down a little on the clip of the term like other than that stock yeah i don't blame you for doing that that was one of the tiny little complaints i had about it too um snowing outside yeah it's we're supposed to get some tomorrow we're supposed to get a mix of rain and snow tomorrow YouTube says your S35 went up. Oh, I did already. Never mind. I forgot. So my schedule's off. Thank God I didn't double record it. <laughs> Maybe it was just first impressions. I don't know. I, I just forgot. I forgot that I did it. That happens to me all the time, man. That is not the first time it's happened where I've thought, oh, I'm going to review this on such and such a day. And then I Google it. And then I'm like, oh, I already did that. Um... I'll shoot an email after this about the XRD2. Thanks, Ocon. Appreciate it. 70 there. It was 70 here on Friday. And then it went nuts. Yeah, so many reviews and done. Forgot. I've forgotten that about everything I've reviewed. I've also forgotten bicycle reviews I've done that I totally do not recall that I did. Um, I, I remember one time the most embarrassing thing. I did was, uh, I did it last week. Yeah, I was pumping stuff out last week. I don't explain why I forgot it. That makes complete sense. That makes complete and total sense why I forgot about it. Um, I was doing, I do so many bike reviews that one time I, I was thinking about buying a bike and I knew I'd ridden one before. And so I Googled to find reviews about it and I looked up and I read through three quarters of the review before I realized that I wrote it. And I had forgotten about it. It was for another magazine, like not for my own. And I was reading, I read literally 900 words of my own review before I realized that I was the one that wrote it. <laughs> I was like, God, you're a moron. You know, sometimes you're just, uh, 
you're just confronted by the fact that you're stupid. When it's an undeniable fact, when it just slaps you in the face that you're a moron. I'll switch some knives out here. Like I said, it's going to get noisy because I got all my cases here. What are we going to take off? We'll swap one cold seal for another that's not even going to fit on the camera. Like I said, I've been carrying this a fair bit. It's going to be good today, though, because I did reorganize my knife collection to just reaffirm the fact that, yes, I do have too many. So one out, one in is what we're going to do here. What else are we going to put in? You guys always like to see this. You asked me about it. We'll take out one axis lock and put in another one. Bring out the Capara. I have to open up another case for that. I will in a minute. Remind me later if I don't. No, I'm not going to right now because that one's going to require some stretching to get to. Oh, is Zach stuff on here? By the way, uh, he loaned me this. I never said if I'm going to buy it or not. Well, I made a spot for it in my case. So uh, this, uh, that gives you an answer, Zach, if, if you watch this later. Uh, I may just be buying that from you. Um, what else do we want to take out that's fun? Here's one I haven't put on for a while that you guys like. Bring out my Mordax. And also breaks up the, the brine spec a little bit there. Do you think two reviews a week is good enough to grow my channel? I think you need to wrap it up, EDC Life asks. Uh, no, two is, two weeks, fine. Especially starting out. There is a thought process that I sometimes subscribe to, sometimes not. This is an exception. Um, this week, because I know everybody's home and everybody's the YouTube consumption rate is very, very high right now. But I do subscribe to the theory that... Uh, you can do too many. You can definitely do too many. And I would normally say two a day is too many. Um, because why I say that is, uh, having done this for 20 years, not YouTube, but other stuff, if you want reviewers to send you stuff, uh, they don't want to send it to you if um, you get, uh, if, if they're going to send you a knife to review, you review at 8 in the morning, and then at 3 in the afternoon you put up another video, then... That video is kneecapped. The first one you put up 8 in the morning because it doesn't come up as a suggested video. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Um, but uh, that that's my philosophy and it seems it seems to be accurate. I've heard other people say that. So, um, yeah. Blue and purple always reminds me of Wildberry Pop-Tarts. Yeah. Uh, Bucky's Bush River says, Brian, get your knives on. Play with them. That's what this whole show's about, man. I just, I'm not playing with them lately because I'm trying to read all your questions. Um, Scott Simmons says, would you like to check out the CRKT full-size BT fighter and compare to the combat? Uh, yeah, shoot me an email. Um, I already I already uh, sold a little one. Um, well, didn't sell it. Gave it away. So that one's long gone. Did not like it. Um, but uh, that's that's long gone. Uh, Illinois locked down too. Yeah. Um, I've just decided to back down to two or three a week from four or five at Therapeutic. I says, but everybody at home making space to reviews has become a challenge. Yeah, luckily, Therapeutic Edge, I have my own office. I can shut my door, and people are used used to that. So, um, yeah. Uh, they're used to me just shutting my door, and they don't bother me. Slicey called Hogue, and they, they do not sell a deck of deep carry for the deck well they had it on it was it said it on the site for like five minutes so somebody messed me on instagram i went there and it said deep carry clip with no picture and then i bought one and it just was the same clip that i had so i don't know what what happened there i did go back and look and i found the instagram message where somebody said hey go there now and get one so i don't know what that was about but I'm not using that ZT clip, so it's going to go back on there at some point. I just haven't bothered to do it yet. Uh, yes, I've heard of special ops knives, but if you bought it at a flea market, I will pass, Rusty. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, I just saw the Gmail notification pop up, John. I'll reply to it when we're done here. Um, Ocon says, I've been considering a few videos. I'm stuck around the house. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. This is kind of a thing where a lot of people are going to start... Um, doing a lot more creative things. Uh, my wife has always been an artist anyway, but primarily photography, but she started painting this week, and oh my God, it's like amazing. She did like two beautiful photo-accurate watercolor photos. One of my dear old dog that's uh, passed away, which made me cry, and she gave it to me for early anniversary present, and then she did a little self-portrait. Check her out on LHB Art at, uh, on Instagram, by the way. So, um, yeah. 
Uh, Freedom Fan says, planning on doing any non-knife content? Yes, I am. I tried to record something with my animals today, and uh, that old adage, never work with animals, was true. Neither of the three of them would put up with me. But <laughs> once once I can, I, I do want to do a video with my animals. I think that'd be very fun. Um, everybody likes kitties and doggies. I have two cats and a dog. So uh, I was going to do a little video with my animals, and they both, or none of the three of them would would, would comply. My sweet, sweet boy that my cat that I love so much, like, uh, all he would do was lick his butthole, wouldn't stop doing it. Uh, the little old lady dog kept coughing, and, uh, the, the fat mean one just, uh, kept running away from me. So, um, let me shoot me a list of all my newer stuff. I haven't seen your view. Thanks, man. Somebody, uh... New bailout a buy. I I liked it. I liked it a lot better than the old one. I don't know if I'd put it on my buy list. Um the CRKT Avant. No, I've almost bought one several times, but I have not reviewed that. I have a fat mean cat too, John says. Yeah, they do. I think they do. Some slicey digging that digging the knife lineup today. Thank you. You see my Instagram picture I put up to help my U.S. friend that are worried about shipping things to the U.K. for giveaways? No, I did not. Um, yes, yeah, ZTs are very cheap right now, but it ain't going to last. Ain't going to last. If you're doing fewer reviews, you should just do more live streams for your events. Says, Thanks, Zach. I appreciate it. What's going on here? Oh, it was me just talking about how you're, you're probably not going to get your Presidio 2 back. So you missed that. <laughs> I was reorganizing my knife collection today. And I made a spot for it. So that's all I'm saying. Although I do see the mini ones are going to be available soon. So I don't know. I should check out a mini first. But um, I don't know. I really like the big one. I can't imagine I'm going to like the mini much better. Uh, hello, do you think the Kers Kershaw Lucha would work for EDC? I plan on getting one great videos. Thanks. From Bill. And I wouldn't carry it as an EDC. It's huge. Um, in no pocket clip, so it just winds up as a big giant thing in the bottom of your pocket. Um, so it's not my jam for EDC. Blade works fine. And as Balasonics goes, pretty good. I do have to figure out some kind of conclusion video for my Idiot with a Balasong series. Everything got thrown haywire because of the virus and all that stuff, but um, I'll figure out something. I only know like two mild little tricks, so it's not. I don't even know what to do. Uh, you should do a slicey dicey, nice dicey news that episode once a week. I'd watch it, Jock. I, I would like to, but I also have other another job, and that takes a lot to do it properly. The, I think to do it properly, the production of it would be a lot. It's the production that holds me up, not gathering the news. I know all of it. I'm reporting it on knifenews.com and stuff, but the production of it would be a lot of photo editing. You know, put pictures on the screen and all that stuff, and it would be... It'd be a lot. It would take away from the reviews and the other stuff that I do, for sure. Um, Jesse Burgunder says, I just got a mini sheepdog a few days ago. Gotta say, the actionist thing is better than some of the mice few knives. It is. The mini sheepdog is amazing. Digging my Presidio and mini Presidio, you should give the mini a try. KIC says, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will, but I'm really liking the big one right now. That's what she said. But it's also probably because of the... Um, you know, it's it's cold out, so I'm wearing heavier clothes, I have pockets, all that stuff. Summer comes, I may prefer the mini. I know it's got more real estate on it than a mini uh, grip, and I don't I don't care for the mini grip as much. Ocon seven, I've just been sharpening and sharpening during <laughs> this whole debacle. I I did that the other night too. I sharpened up a couple knives the other night myself. It is a therapeutic thing to do. And I have to finish some stuff. When this gets done, my work day is not just beginning, but I still have a lot to do. I'm probably going to be up till about 1 or 2, I imagine, finishing up some work I got to do. Maybe tomorrow night I'll be uh, sharpening some stuff. Uh, yeah, the grip is about, just about perfect for me, the normal one. Yeah, the, the mini is just too mini for me. My Astacus arrives tomorrow. Natural G10 Psycho Foo says, well, congratulations. Uh, you got to try the Launch 11. Yeah, I really do want to launch 11 T Thorn. It's uh, I, that is that is one that's on the purchase list coming up soon. Uh, is New York Auto Legal, uh, Jason? You can own them. You just can't uh, carry them unless you are in the act of hunting and fishing. But you can own them. 
but you can't ship them here. So that's a bit of a thing. But when you can, you find somebody who can get it to you, you can get them. Uh, Mini Freak is about as small as I like. Randy says, I think the Mini Presidio is about the same size as the Mini Freak. Maybe just a bit bigger. Zach is here. I don't know if he got his yet or not. He'll be the first one. Um, Bionic Man says, I hope they do an ass to kiss mini at some point. Yes, I prefer my asses to kiss uh, mini also. See, Bionic, you set me up for it, man. I'm trying not to do the ass to kiss jokes, and you just shot that softball right up in the air for me. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Butt joke? Never here. I would never make a butt joke here. Shaman versus Sage 5, which you can ask. Those are two drastically different knives other than the fact they're made by Spyderco. It depends on if you want a lightweight 3-inch EDC, a fairly lightweight 3-inch EDC, or if you want a big kind of bruiser, heavy-duty user. And Rhymes. EDC Life says, what's your favorite knife you own? Uh, probably at the moment, uh, I would say it's kind of a three-way-ish tie. It would be the uh, Spidey Chef, the um, Void, the Sharp by Design Void, or my TRM Adam. Uh, one of those three. Probably the Adam today, but ask me tomorrow. It may be the Void. Ask me the next day, maybe the Spidey Chef. I don't know. You see, life says your least one is in the one you hate. Well, I don't keep ones that I hate. I usually give them to you guys. <laughs> but, uh, no, I don't really have any right now. I just was going through because I'm actually thinking ahead. You know, this next couple of weeks, I want to do some more giveaways. And I was like, what am I going to give away? And there's a lot. I don't have that many that I really hate. I've, I think I've given them all, all away. Or least favorite even. Like, I, just, I like most of the stuff I have now. I'm... I'm pretty good. 92 watch, only 20 likes. Get busy, guys. You're right. And somebody told me to hydrate, and I ignored it. Uh, I hated my slog slim, slog slim Jim gave it away. Uh, Colby Overhagen said, what is your lowest cost knife you enjoy? Well, it always comes to my mind when people ask me that. And it's not just because I'm giving this one away on Instagram right now. If you want to go follow me. Um, but uh, the honey badgers are just so much fun. This is the HCR 13 one that's really cheap. These are like, what, 30 bucks, and uh, they're just a blast. The action on them is so cool. You can do all this stuff. Yes, I did diet slicey dicey purple. Uh, what do you think of the Ontario knife shikra? I want to try one, they, they do look pretty cool. Um, nah, everyone sure talks about those honey batters. Yep, definitely, because they're fun, they're a blast, they're really cool. There's a reason why most YouTubers have one or two or three laying around. I had three. I'm down to two now. So I'm giving one away. Uh, yeah, the new white honey badger. I saw that. That's just, that Zach, that one just says, die me. <laughs> it's like they know that we all die them and mess with them. So they made a white one so you can dye it any freaking color you want, which is fantastic. Um... Jake Matthews, I have to agree with another knife guy. The Atom is sweet. The Atom is awesome. I like TRM, but pretty much impossible against South Africa. I don't have no knowledge of South Africa other than they have cool accents that sound like Bond villains. Okan says, uh, my name means a badger. No, I still don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know. Did you chew your way out of the womb? Badgers don't do that, right? They're just nasty. I almost had to shoot a badger once. Really thought I was going to have to shoot a badger. I was in Germany in the Air Force, and I went to the went to my car and kind of walk across the field to get there, and we're armed at work, so I still had my sidearm on. I walked to my car to get something on my car, and I'm walking back to the to the command post. I cut across the field, and I heard something growling at me, and I looked up, and it was a friggin' badger, and I shined my flashlight in its face, and it sat there growling at me, and it kept coming at me and kept coming at me, like in little steps, and I was like, God, if I had to shoot this badger... A, the paperwork, and B, it was a small little tiny base. I'm just going to be known as that idiot that shot the badger. But I had my hand on my gun. I didn't pull it, but I had my hand on it. <laughs> and I really thought I was going to have to shoot a badger. God, that would have been awful. But eventually it just took off and it ran away. It was crazy. They're nasty, nasty things. <clears throat> Uh, 
<coughs> thought raccoons were sketchy. I actually was just talking to Chad that's on here from a Southern Knife Works today about how awful my hatred of raccoons. I hate raccoons. I can't stand them. Yeah, should have had the shovel. I had to beat a raccoon to death when I was 17 with a shovel. And um, I, I think that's why I don't hunt anymore. I think I got over all my killing animals thing that day. Um, that was that was terrible. It was so dumb. We I had a gun, but I didn't, like, in my my closet, there was an injured, I basically, I came home at 2 o'clock in the morning, there was an injured raccoon on my parents' deck. And uh, I knew it needed to be put down. It was clearly injured. It was clearly something wrong with it. It was growling and, you know, snapping at me. So I, I went in the house, and I was going to get a gun, but I didn't want to wake my parents up. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to whack it with this shovel, and it'll die. No. No, it didn't. It didn't. That was like, that took effort and it was horrid and I felt so bad. And uh, I guess why I don't hunt anymore. I had to kill a mouse today because one of my, that stupid fat cat of mine doesn't kill mice. My Mine kills him instantly. Like he just kills him and drops him and walks away. My work is done and he leaves him. But this other cat just doesn't, toys with him. She came down toying with this mouse and it was horribly injured. She wouldn't kill it and I had to kill it and it Ugh, I don't like it. Any thoughts on the Fox Radius? That's the one with the cool lock, right? Ready? Oh, hey, man, how's it going? I didn't see you around here. I saw you had one. You like it, don't you? I think it sounded like you liked it in our, our little chat thingy. Um, It looks cool. I don't know if I'm going to get one or not. If I do, it'll be the cheaper one. I'm not going to get the pricey one. Uh, exec, then. Action is great. It's such a good blade. It is. I'm going to bring out the exec, by the way, and some other ones while we're here. It sounds like a good idea to good opportunity to rotate. Ugh. Got a ton of packing material is why you're hearing all the crunching paper. Um, it's in this case, I believe. Yes, there it is. Here we go with the exec. I'm going to put the Wii away because my, put my Wii away because uh, you're going to see that in the morning. And we will bust out what was something somebody else was asking about? I know there's another one in here. We'll bring out the void. Somebody was asking about that. And you know, somebody asked about the Kapara. It's been out a bunch. I'll get it out eventually. But uh, it's down. It's that's way down, buried in other stuff down there. But we'll put that one away. Uh. It, uh yeah, the radius does look kind of cool. It's not something that was like on my run out to buy thing, but uh, yeah, and check out Seven Ready's channel, by the way, if you haven't yet. He is a very good reviewer, and I find his voice to be extremely relaxing. I really do enjoy listening to his, to his stuff. Bought a smock Nord a couple of months ago and like it. Oh, we're talking about vape stuff. Void is awesome. Yes, it is. Uh, PD Swing says, we trapped a dead mole to Bottle Rock as his kid. He did not break into orbit. Oh, that's too bad for the mole. He could have gone out in style. Speaking of vaping, yes, I have to. Um, and, uh, How large is my collection at the moment? Too damn many. I just reorganized them today, like 90. Like entirely too many. But as I said in the video I did today about collector versus enthusiast and stuff, um, I would not be... Um, I would not have nearly as many. I think if, if I didn't have this channel, I'd probably only have 20 or 30 tops. I don't think I'd have a ton of them. What's the most expensive stock knife you currently own? Uh, that would definitely probably be my half track. I have a Hinder half track that's 425 or something like that. Um, wow, well, 90 is crazy. Been there too, not about 42. Yeah, that's what I'd like to be down to, ready. That, that would be my goal. That would be my goal. Seminary was just over Epic Snuggle Bunny's live stream. Yes, I cheated. Yeah, I saw it. Mine kept pop popping up and saying he was live, and I tried to go over to it, and it wouldn't it wouldn't go over. It, like, it wasn't opening the window. My computer's been being a crap, turd, awful thing today. I rebooted it once even, and it still didn't help it. See you later, Ocon. I will look for email. Fixed blades. Colby, I don't know that much about them, and a whole lot of people do them better, and I don't like carrying them. So um, I, I don't really plan on doing much with fixed blades. 
So anyone heard about the steel wheel sedge? I saw a video shot show that talked about it being done in two sizes, and I'm intrigued by it. That one doesn't ring a bell. Um, easy peasy says, dude, what a CV. Yes, the Asticus that we're not making jokes about. Um, on a bright note, found out this week that I'm essential. Well, I guess that's good. At least you have work to do. Uh, I have 30 knives and over $150 invested. Wow, you, you're, you're a bargain shopper. Um, Seven Race says, how are you affected by the COVID thing? I'm pretty much locked down. Uh, not as bad as you are over there, but um, I'm uh, pretty much locked down. We have essential stores and stuff open, but that's it. Through SDWMK, White Mountain Eyes, sending me a Tumblr. Oh, cool. Thanks for using the code. Olivia, I always, I'm happy about that. Um, Snuggle Bunny had his Ritter out, too. Yeah, I imagine so. We all like him a lot. Snuggle Bunny's a good dude. I like, he, he, has, he has made me buy some stuff. <laughs> so, privately, just chatting, like, hey, should I get this? Yes. Or he just shows it to me, and I just buy it. So, oh, good. He just ended. Well, I'm sorry to, uh, to step on him, but this is my time. No, I don't, I don't care. It's totally cool if he wants to do his own live shows anytime he freaking wants to. He's been around a lot longer than me. He's a lot bigger than me. Um, on his channel, not in, not in stature. Uh, but, uh, you have to work in four hours. Sorry about that. Um, I'm essential to 12 hour shifts to help separate shifts or induce the chance of cross-contaminating. Jesse says, well, hopefully you're getting paid overtime or something. And, Bless all you guys that are still out there working and have my son goes back to work on Monday. He was off this week, but uh they've decided they're gonna be open, so he's back on Monday. So uh and I'll be I'll be worrying about him. He works at a little corner grocery store. Panic says, Oh Brian, I see much. I enjoyed your video this morning about a collector, enthusiast, and user. Great stuff. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. That was literally just um uh a um a rambly thing because i'm trying to write this article so it did help out a lot though i've read your comments and i got halfway through the article today so actually since we're done here i have to finish it off so i can get it to him by the morning but uh thank you very much for that everybody who replied to that video it was just kind of a rambling stream of consciousness except i did i did retape it once because uh i forgot some stuff uh ready says uh snuggly brought me to buy a Browns Knives LH, LHCX recently. He is a, he is a temptress for sure. Um, any way to work now, Jeremy? Well, and enjoy, be safe and all that crap. Can't wait to read the article. Yeah, well, that doesn't come out till like May. I think May. I think it's technically the July, August issue. I think it comes out in May or June or something like that. Uh, Libby says, have you tried the Kershaw Norita? Yeah, no, I have not. And I really, really, really do want one. Chad, if you're on here, <laughs> next time you make an order, I do really want a Norad. Everybody's raving about it so much. I just think I have to. Snuggle Bunny convinced you to buy a fifth 20. Well, he hasn't convinced me to buy anything that expensive yet. Uh, he made me get my... Um, uh, this thing, my Ohlone Goat is the most recent one that I can definitely blame on Snuggle Bunny. And this wasn't even like from his videos, it was just in messages. He was like, oh my god, this thing is awesome. So I, I bought one. Don't regret it a tiny bit. He's never steered me wrong. Everything I've bought on his recommendation has been worth it, for sure. But, uh... The Ohlone goat, which sadly I think is all gone now. Uh, 49, so we're going for only like 10 minutes. Up to 90. I think we cracked 100 for a minute. That's that's pretty good. I think our record's like 146, but I know it's uh it's it's uh it's odd times. I'm doing a whole lot of these uh whole lot of these live streams. So I'm gonna I'm probably not gonna do any more live streams here this week. I do want to do an Instagram live just because I've never done one before. So I'll probably do one or two of those this week. But I probably won't do any live ones this week until next Sunday at the usual, this same time, 8 o'clock Eastern. Um, wow, all this stuff that you guys are talking about that Snuggle Bunny convinced you to buy. Um, man, uh, I, I got off easy. 
<laughs> He's never convinced me anything that expensive. Oh, yeah, Snuggle Bunny has some amazing old ZTs. Definitely. Just give a heads up here on Instagram Live. Yes, I will. It'll be in that community page. If you guys aren't checking out the community page, it's especially essential now that I'm ramping up the content levels. I'm going to try and keep the up the mostly two a day, but I know a couple days I'm going to skip down to one a day. I'm going to try and keep that up all week. So keep an, keep an eye on those uh, on that community page to let you know what's going on. Uh, any tips on fixing ZT lock bar fail? No, because I've never had it happen. So uh, I don't want to get in that whole thing again, but I've never had a ZT lock bar fail. Don't spine whack it. Just don't just don't do that. Don't do that. It's dumb. Don't do that. Uh, Mark Ridgewell says, anything you don't like about the Mordex? I think the only complaint I have with the Mordex at all is it's a little thick behind the edge, and it's not even that horrible. But uh, that's it. Other than that, I really, really like it. It is a, a very, very fun, very, very fun knife to play with. Very, very comfortable knife to use. Like I said, just a little thick behind the edge. That's about it. Chris says, thanks for being on a lot. Thank you. I'm trying it. So uh, any advice for a channel like mine? Just be yourself and uh, and just do that. And people are going to like it or they're not. I don't. I haven't done any magical tricks or anything to make this channel grow as big as it has. I've just been myself and done what I've done for 20 years and just done video instead of writing it down. And, and it took off. So... Uh, I uh, always wonder why so many great companies are in Oregon. Any ideas, Jason says? Just because it's a really nice place to live. I think uh, a lot of the bike companies that I've, I've worked with are in Oregon, too. So um, I think it's just a really nice place to live. Uh, there's some color in there. I love the Mordex. Yeah, I do like the, the blue and the Mordex. And I actually had a gray prototype. And I got intentionally went and got the blue one because uh, mine was a prototype. The only difference was the screws were different. Um, but I wanted a production one, a real one, so I got the got the blue. Good beer too, yes. Uh, Ready says you appreciate a good slippy right. Check out the Fox Lee Bar or Livery. I have looked at those before. Those do, do look cool. You missed it. I had out my uh, we I already put it back away, but um, or did I? No, it's right here. You got to check this one already. I know, I think we may have talked about it already, but you got to check out this. I think you'll really, really like it. The MRF. We, this is like a ready knife. I kind of thought about that when I got him. I'm like, oh, he'd really like this. It is a very, very cool knife. Very stiff. Definitely two hand closed because I don't want to chonk my finger. I know it has a half stop, but I don't trust it. <laughs> so, uh, not enough to risk my fingers. Um, if we don't have, email me and I'll special order. Yeah, he's, uh, Chad's very good about that. Kershaw Norad, Chad. Kershaw Norad. A lot of people are asking about it. Uh, the MKA Fair is a good slippy as well. Yeah, I almost bought one of those just a while ago. A while ago. Yes, it is a Reichart. It's a MRF, uh, it's what, Marcus Reichart folder, I think is what it stands for. Uh, um, yeah, Chad, fix your search option. I'm just, Libby said it. I didn't say it. Don't be mad at me. Just repeating. Um, yeah, they don't, I don't think he has the Norad in stock right now. I was asking him to order me one. Uh, have an NKM fair if you're interested. I'd like to, I'd like to maybe check one out. I don't think, um, it's, it would be a review that would get a lot of views, but, uh, Ritter Hoger LUDT. I've never touched an LUDT, unfortunately. If only the MRF came in blue, then it could be the SMRF. Oh, you made a funny, Connor. Look at you. I see what you did there. Good job. Good job. Uh, uh, yeah, like, I want a Microtech, o or Microtech OTF very, very badly. I know I can't carry it outside of my house, but I don't care. I just want one. That was one of the, my primary purchases for Blade Show this year, which everybody keeps asking me, do you think Blade Show's going to happen? No, I don't think it's going to happen. I will be there if it does, but my thought is no. Um, I can't see how it would be. Um, but uh, I've heard some anecdotal things about some people not even being allowed in the country. So um, the visa's getting denied and whatnot. So I don't, 
I don't see it happening. But uh, if it does happen, I was going to go and go straight to the Microtech booth and buy one of those. And I was going to go straight to the Chris Reeve booth and buy a Sebenza 31. So um, I already says, how do you schedule time your reviews to get optimal views? Um, usually when I'm only doing one a day, it's, uh, I, that's, it's when YouTube tells me to, I have a program called TubeBuddy and it tells me what my optimum times are. So I usually listen to that, which is, it's, has been for many, many months, uh, eight or nine o'clock PM. So that's why I put those up at those times. But when I do two a day, it's just, uh, I do one in the morning and one at the optimal time. So uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, you're going to get the Wii MRF review, which spoiler alert, it's extremely positive. And uh, then I also have, um, in the evening, a very lengthy disassembly video. You guys saw I did the one, I already put it away, of my 0393 and modifying it and stuff. You guys seem to like the disassembly videos. They're long. They give you something to watch. Um, <clears throat> I am taking a Hinder XM18, XM18 that is not mine. It belongs to my buddy and completely transforming it. He basically bought every single aftermarket part you can buy for it so if you want to see how to totally completely and utterly disassemble a hinderer and i have the proper tools for it now too um with the proper tools and with all that stuff and you want to see it re completely reassemble i mean literally the only thing that stayed was the blade and the lock side and i think maybe the pocket clip every single other piece of it was changed so um and I still had to move the pocket clip, so even that had to come apart. So, uh, yeah, standoffs, the, the, all the screws, like all the hardware. I had to switch it from bearings to uh, washers because of something that's with it. I don't want to spoil it. So it was everything that you could do to a hinder. I think it's a half-hour long video. Um, and it, I don't think I had to cut away on that one. I think that was all one, one shot. But um, it was, uh, it's fun. I show you my little tricks and stuff. I've worked on enough hinders now. I have a couple little tricks to make it slightly less sweary, but they don't really apply because I just compare it. You'll see it. So go go watch that tomorrow night at eight o'clock. And I'll I'll probably do a premiere on that because it's a long one. So I'll be along chatting with you if you watch it when it first comes up. Uh, Jeremy Russell says instead of Microtech, you should look into a Guardian Tactical Recon 35 much smoother. Well, who says I couldn't do both? Why you gotta limit me, man? No, I'm just kidding. But no, I have heard that the Guardians are really, really nice. Um, Victor says, do you think American companies are stepping up their game because of international competition? They should be. I don't really see a lot of evidence of that. Maybe a little bit here and there, but I don't see a whole lot of evidence of them stepping up because of that stuff. But um, <clears throat> uh, All right, we are almost done here. I try and keep these right at an hour. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. Uh, do you prefer CF, my Carta, or plain tie? Uh, I'm at fitty fitty between carbon fiber and my Carta. We already know what you like, Ready? You have a my Carta problem. Um, Chad says, I'll be working on the site after this. Now, you guys who make poor Chad stay up late at night. Hey, poor guys. I already feel bad for Chad because I just updated all my old videos to put <clears throat> the discount code for him in as well as the one for White Mountain. So uh, sorry to Chad and sorry to Justin at White Mountain Knives if you guys get a lot of orders tonight. I mean, I'm not that sorry. It's a good thing. But uh, yes, thank you guys very much for coming out. And uh, we'll be back same time next Sunday at 8 o'clock Eastern time. I'm going to probably do a themed one then. Um if Keith ever sends me my backlash back, it's just saying. I'll, I'll probably, I mean, maybe I'll do a Civivi themed one because I'll have enough Civivis around to do that. So uh, maybe we'll see about that. And I might order another one this week too. So we shall see. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks a lot to Keith for keeping an eye on everybody. Uh, everybody's been pretty cool. I asked him to come on as a moderator because I don't know, I was expecting more problems this week, but everybody's been awesome. So uh, that's been really cool. And thank you guys so much for hanging out and this much increased live stream uh, schedule. And uh, like I said, if you want to see more of them during this week, uh, I'll probably do them on Instagram, at SliceyDicey75. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do that. Um, there's a giveaway on my Instagram right now. Uh, but as far as live on the YouTubes, I'm probably just going to um, do the uh, the next Sunday. So 
but I am going to try and keep up a lot of other videos over the week. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping up the two a day. That's a lot. Um, but uh, who knows? After tomorrow, I'm kind of off for the foreseeable future because I'm going to be done with my deadline for Knives Illustrated and every other business I deal with is closed. So we shall see. But again, yeah, if you guys have suggestions of stuff you, you think I might want to review, shoot me an email. I don't normally ask that because normally I'm so far behind, but it is conceivable in the over like after a week or so i am going to be running low so um preferably new stuff um and always i prefer unmodified with the stock edge and all that stuff but uh that's it thank you guys so much for everything you've done this week we did hit our goal for food link new york over a thousand dollars so i very much appreciate that and i know they appreciate it too so thank you thank you thank you so much i've been brian you've been you wash your damn hands See you later.